Hi everybody, this is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. All right, guys, I, again, I apologize for taking, what, four days now to get this video to you. I began to feel a, a little exhausted yesterday. Yesterday, maybe uh, began the day before. Um, and again, I'm getting lack of sleep. So um, with being really exhausted, lack of sleep combining um, with it, and then um, a very full day, I, I just didn't get a video to you guys, and I, I do apologize for not um, doing so. I have had things to discuss. We are currently in um, the sign of Sagittarius, therefore Sagittarius season, and it began yesterday. So I'm not too too many days off at all, but I, I like to usually give you a heads up by posting a video several days at least prior to um, a major uh, season or a change that we are experiencing. And so let's see if I can um, make sense or let you explain. Um, Sagittarius is Chiron, okay? Sagittarius is the half horse and half human. What this really signifies, and Chiron though in mythology is a centaur who was abandoned at birth by his parents. He was adopted and um, raised and therefore um, overcame his complications of abandonment, of unworthiness, and things like that. All of those emotions that come along with not feeling loved. And that is the main theme that we are going to be dealing with here. And, a, and so much more, okay? There's so much more to this. But what I have been actually going through, because we are creeping our way up into um, the winter seasons here. There's a lot that goes into here. Now, we just hit Taurus with a partial lunar eclipse. And we are actually going to have a full eclipse on December the 4th in the sign of Sagittarius. And let's see, hold on. So it's just like um, the eclipse we just went through. Every time we are experiencing an eclipse, there is still going to be an acceleration, um, a higher activation through whatever process that we are um, currently going through. Uh, something that I have been going through is um, a deeper heart activation as well. And um, I wanted to share that experience with you because you're probably going through this as well. Because as we get to these, these um, energies that are leading us into the end of the season or end of the year and working our way into the following beginning of 2022, that is, we are already feeling this acceleration, therefore, um, an ending to the seasons where we can truly upgrade and at whatever level we are currently at. The heart is the center of our being. It is where every single energy links up within us. It is the 13th aspect of self, the 13th ray of existence. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this is where we really are going to begin to open up to more gratitude more thankfulness, um, uh, really feeling um, centered, <clears throat> but excuse me, and please keep in mind that even though we are going through and feeling more centered, there is an aspect of us quite possibly feeling depleted and empty. That's where the exhaustion can come in, and that's when, um, you know, throughout this season, we have the holidays here that we have been so accustomed to, and depression kicks in. It's for a reason, but we tend to get so stuck in the lower vibration of it all instead of understanding what is actually taking place. In order to become whole, you have to make a conscious decision and you have to have an awareness, which means a deeper understanding of why you are feeling this way. Depression isn't necessarily a sign that you you know, are, are feeling lonely that there's something psychologically wrong with you or that life is miserable. 
it's a higher activation of the heart. It's、um, we have to really make make things come together through these seasons, and and we then we have、uh, the ability to understand who we are. In order to really know who you are, which、um, includes the I am presence, there has to be an awareness. If your mind is trying to receive information, but the heart is completely blocked off, how do you have the I am presence? The higher heart is necessary, and we are actually activating more of this higher heart. Remember, we are never done, and the seasons always bring us back to the same level or the same、uh, experiences or the same energy, because the seasons come and go. Every single year, we have the the、um, the same seasons. Every three months, there's a change. There's a different activation, higher upgrades, more connections, and we have to understand what is actually taking place. And so, I just wanted to give you this brief, brief video, and I hope it helps you a little bit、um, out in what you are going through.、Um, I have other videos,、uh, other ideas for videos in relationship to these.、Um, what I am briefly discussing here. So remember, you might be going through some abandonment issues right now. You might be experiencing depression, or even, a, you know, of course, exhaustion through all of this. But because of Chiron through Sagittarius, that wounded warrior, we have those wounds that we have to really heal of abandonment, of、uh, unworthiness, all of those、um, childhood-like.、Um, You know, emotions that we have、uh, gone through these experiences of not being loved and nurtured,、um, and feeling together as a community or whatever it might be. We are healing those even further in order to step more into those higher activations. So, for myself, a few days ago, I ended up feeling so much love. So much love, and I went back into my memories here. I was just on Facebook, you know, briefly as I was trying to get on、uh, to the、uh, marketplace, and I saw on my timeline seven years ago.、Um, I think it was on the twentieth, I believe, was the actual day that I saw this. I saw that seven years ago on that day, I had just got done having a shoulder surgery. My shoulder surgery repair, and I mentioned briefly on Facebook that I wish that, or I was hoping, for a quick fix, that my shoulder was going to feel better. And after a week of my of healing, it was just the pain was excruciating, and I I didn't like it, and、um, so I, I mentioned that, and I as I. Recalled that、um, time frame, it took me into a deeper sense of remembering how seven years ago I hated my life, everything about it, everything. I was still obese. I was still experiencing chronic pain. I was、um, denying the depression that I was experiencing、uh, back then, and. I was still trying to find my way out of my my marriage, and、um, back then I was、uh, at the twelve year mark. And I mentioned though that, you know, God is taking me back to remembering、um, that time frame, and God is always going to take us back into time to really make us reflect and see if we are the person that we say that we are today. I am still sorry. And I am even more sorry today than I was when I began to wake up. When I began to apologize for my actions, I am even more grateful today, and I I still apologize, and I still will apologize continuously for pain that I have caused another individual. And I am、um, today I'm 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 talking about my husband because I am living with my husband, and it, we are now at our nineteenth year. Just got past our nineteenth year of our marriage, and 
if you are on Facebook or on Instagram, please uh, go ahead and double check or send me a friend request and you can read about that post that I, I made a couple of days ago about it. So, you know, I remember like when I used to apologize for things a long time ago when I was still um, unaware of, you know, the true higher existence of God and, and what Christ signified. I, before I was being awakened or, aw you guys know what I'm trying to say. When I would apologize for, for things and then, you know, the experience would come back up and then, um, and let's just use my husband for example, if we got into a fight again about the past and I would come back and I would say, well, you know what, I've already apologized for that. There's no reason for me to, uh, to apologize again. I was still carrying lots of bitterness and lots of anger and lots of regret and, um, and I really didn't mean, I was not sincere with that apology because today, as memories come back from my past, I am truly sorry. And I will apologize again for anything that surfaces like today. I'm healing that. I'm healing it still. I'm healing the pain that I have caused another individual. And more specifically, the pain that I've caused my husband unknowingly that I am. And, you know, things that I didn't mean to do, uh, but I, I did because I was in such a depressed and lonely state. And he might forgive me already. He might. I don't really know in his heart. But my heart is telling me I will always be sorry for it. Because I am love. I will always apologize for something if it comes back in my awareness. And even if my husband doesn't bring up a situation, if my mind does, and I'm probably going to do some apologizing today, um, I'm going to come back out and say, you know, I'm really sorry for that time frame. I didn't mean to hurt you. We have to really believe in who we are. Are you truly love? And love will not stop at proving that it is love. And if my heart is telling me that I need to still make someone understand my love, I will do it. I, I also had an experience as I was um, meeting someone off a of marketplace to pick up some items. I saw, I picked up the items and the woman ended up, you know, was getting into her vehicle um, to start her day. And I told her thank you and stuff like that. And I saw something in her eyes. It's like, but I got into my vehicle to hurry up and come back home because I had uh, other things to do. But as I was pulling out of her driveway, I was like, there's a tug in my heart. And I was like, I'm supposed to do something here. And so as I got to a stopping point later, a couple of hours um, that day, um, me and my mother stopped and had some lunch. I sent her a message. And I said, I really wanted to stop earlier today. But I kept going because I had things to do. But right now is my stopping point, And I wanted to reach out to you. Because as I was leaving, I noticed something in your eyes that told me that there was something, um, something wrong, perhaps. And of course, I, I said, I hope this isn't out of line, um, and please don't take this wrong. But my heart was calling for me to reach out to you. And so I did. And she explained, yes, that she was going through a difficult time. And here's the ticker. Uh, seven came up. She said, seven months ago, and I just told you seven years ago. A uh, memory came up um, for a few days ago, and this all happened the same day that I wrote that um, that post on um, my Facebook and my, my Instagram and, and Facebook or social media pages. And um, so, I had it in my heart again to offer my services after she explained that she was um, very happy that I had reached out and I. I brought happiness to her day and because I was showing her kindness and generosity and um, my heart knew that God was bringing us together for a higher reason of service and as I offered my services um, I did my job in offering my services that is knowing that she may or may not be open to it it doesn't matter 
here's something that I want you to kind of really understand. Every time you have an awareness in your heart, your higher self through God's source is making a connection and wants to see what you're going to do with that inner guidance that is being given to you. I took a step and moved forward and said here, I am here for you. I have this gift and I have I am offering you my services. I you know, of course I wasn't going to charge for my services at that time um, because my heart is being guided to do something even deeper. Um, when my heart is telling me, hey, go and do something for someone, there is no fee ever. And um, it's not like my sessions that I do, where, of course, if you're coming and seeking me, that's completely different. But, of course, my uh, spiritual messages are always, um, are always free and included in the work that we do. I, throughout my sessions, I am just being compensated for the time frame that I put into your, I guess, um, healing sessions is what I should be calling them, um, or counseling or guidance sessions. So, but when I have a higher call to step forward, when God is telling me to step forward and help somebody, I don't ever charge a fee. And I have done that on many, many occasions. But I want you to understand, because now I'm getting off talking too much today for some reason. <laughs> Um, but I thank God for being able to speak when sometimes, you know, I, I don't have anything to say. Your gift, whatever it is that you are receiving, your intu higher intuition that's coming through, if you sit there and hold it and say, well, you know what, I'm not going to talk about what I have received here to somebody because they might be afraid of what I'm going to, they might be afraid of what I'm going to say. They might end up hating me. If you're thinking about the what ifs might, that might happen afterwards, you know, then you're not truly believing in the gift that you have. It's in, and God is not asking you to, um, it's not about what takes place afterwards that is important. God wants to know that you believe and what you are receiving. Had I not stepped forward, and this is just a small occurrence that could have, like if you end up having um, a very intuitive dream about um, a friend, um, like my mother has a lot, these a lot, and um, some other people in my, my family and life um, have that has this ability. If you were to st you know, make a step and say, okay, I'm just going to reach out and see what I can do here to the to whomever was in your dream, um, or even talking about it to somebody else. That's enough. It is enough. We can't um, make another individual do anything. So what you have or what you are receiving is always about you. Do you? believe in it and are you acting in faith in trust and in love or are you doubting it look I'm not going to tell anybody about this because they're going to think I'm crazy or um, I'm you know and I'm not even going to go into the second um, <laughs> let me just stop at that um, you have to believe truly believe in the power that is being given to you it's a, it's a test if you want. It's a lesson. It's um, truly believing. It's the belief. And while I'm at this, I want to tell you a story because I had meant to do this, but it, it ties in with this. And I don't know. This was early on in my process of when I was actually waking up. And I was receiving um, my, you know, the, my guidance and my visions through um, through source and I had an experience where I was being I saw myself being um, chased by these three entities beings dark forces whatever it is you want to call it but they looked like human beings they had two legs and two hands but their face was terrifying and terrifying and this wasn't terrifying to me at the time, or I guess kind of was back then. 
and these uh, fang teeth, you know, um, like shark teeth. And they were chasing me and my son, who um, was still at a young age at the time. And we were running around this pool area until we got to the locker room. And, of course, I had no way out because I was now stuck in this locker area. And they got me up against um, the lockers and I was holding my son tight. And these three beings were there. And um, they said to me, we are going to let you go because you have demonstrated faith. You know, back then, I, you know, we have the choice of what we are going to give power to. Fear or love. Darkness or light. It doesn't matter. That's our choice. You can be an individual. You know, there's lots of people out there, and I say this, you know, sometimes throughout my videos, who talk a lot about the dark forces and the reasons why, you know, things are the way that they are, um, all of the, the scary stuff involved. I don't. Why? I don't believe in it. I believe in light. And that's it. That's what I have taught myself, to believe in light and love and God and, of course, Christ. Because in, if we believed in the devil, we would talk about the devil all the time. Oh, gosh, you know, and then accuse and judge. That's what the dark force is. And in order to overcome fear of all kinds or doubt, um, you have to shed it. You have to let it go. I understood, which it, I understood as I was coming to, um, that... Because I'm staying centered in the heart, I'm having faith. I'm proving my faith by my daily actions. That the ego is beginning to, in the lunar, the darker forces, the shadow self of me, is, is um, attempting to loose on their reins. You can't believe in both. Although both exist simultaneously. Um, there's a, a quote, you know, but it, it's, you know, um, for everyone that I was watching, um, through a movie, uh, a couple of days ago as well. It's, uh, what's the movie? Warcraft, Warcraft. And, um, the wizard guy, whatever his name is, said, from light comes darkness and from darkness, light. Of course, this is the void. And this is the nothingness. This is how creation takes place. But if you have more belief in the darker forces, um, which means if you're believing in more fear, more pain, which is what I used to be, I was living underneath that veil, that shadow, the darkness, all the time. I was depressed all the time. I hated life all the time. And I was fear-based. You have to be the person that crawls out of it. And you have to begin the process of building faith and seeing light. In order for you to become light, you have to shed everything that is completely dark. You have to remove that belief system that there is anything ever dark. It is a lesson. And I love my lessons. There's a difference between believing in it and seeing it. I see when I am living within this shadow or having an experience that is giving me um, the, the feelings that I don't tend to like. I see it. And I don't believe it any longer. I choose love as often as I possibly can. How do I choose love? Like when I am lashing out because I'm cranky and I'm tired and because I'm having experiences internally that I don't understand yet, I'm reacting. Therefore, I, you know, I might shout out to other people. I might be cranky and then uh, I aggravate it and, and people f sense that. I might come out, my voice might come out with being aggravated 
you know how it is when you're cranky, when you're tired, and things are really crazy. What do I do? I'm sorry. What I am doing here with you has nothing to do with you personally, so please understand I'm going through something, and I don't mean to hurt you. I don't mean to hurt you, because I love you. That's why I will always apologize. And I will always ask for forgiveness. It's not that I'm holding in that pain. It is because I have I don't want any part of pain. And because I don't know what another individual feels, no matter how many times I have apologized for it, because if somebody else is not on a healing journey through awakening process, whatever it is, or just healing in general, I don't know if they have received my apology. Love will always be love at every given moment. So I hope I have made sense through this video. I hope um, the briefness of what Sagittarius entails um, helps you that we are really healing deeper wounds again um, because we are towards the end of this year and we are already we are already experiencing the energies that pertain to the end of the year and there's a pressing sensation going out again really pressing and that's why people can become overwhelmed depressed and um, um, hide away from the world and loved ones lots of more clearing is taking place through this you know holiday season um, or the end of the year seasons um, energies that are stagnant um, or no longer needed must be released before we can enter into the next cycle of our ascension this is Christy much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.